Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be dipping our toe into the Christmas Manny Pond today. I'm gonna to be using some of my gels here from my favorite brands to create this beautiful minimalist holiday Manny that I think will be perfect for folks with shorter nails. Of course, you can do this design on any length and shape, but I think it's especially helpful for those of you who want to make a holiday Manny and you don't have a lot of nail estate. And as always, I'll be sharing some tips and tricks with you along the way. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then stick around, we'll get into it. All right, so I've lined up the colors that I'm gonna be using here today. Although I didn't end up using my Nails Cat Cat White Gel Paint. I'll explain when we get to that part. But otherwise I used everything else that you see here. And honestly, the inspo from this Manny really centered around this gorgeous kind of green, like evergreen color gel polish here from Daily Charm and it is called Rainforest. And pretty much since I got this, this is one of the first polishes I got from them. I just was like, oh, I need to use this. I need to use this. And I felt like this was a perfect excuse because it's a little bit of a, I mean, it's still a holly color, but it's more of like a more muted, more cool tone holly color, which I think will look really good on my skin tone. So I'm actually gonna be doing the nail art over top of this rubber base coat from Nails Cat Cat called Pinky Promise. This is one of the newer ones I picked up from her and it's a really pretty pink. It looks pretty opaque here, but you're gonna see once I put it on the nail, it's, it's a bit more on the jelly side or sheer side. So it's not super opaque, which kind of makes it the perfect backdrop for the nail art. And like I said, I wanted to do something kind of minimalist. So something kind of neutral, but with the cute nail art on top. All right, so I wanted to show you these two sets of nails because I kind of took one for the team here. I have two different shapes on for a reason because a lot of you guys are really interested in short nail shapes and you guys know me, I love my medium nail shapes. But I know that it's sometimes helpful for those of you who like to wear the shorter shapes to see them on somebody with shorter nail beds, and that is me. I'm not gonna say I have the shortest nail beds I've ever seen, but they're pretty short. So I wanted you to see these two new sets of tips from Vivid Glam Co. So on this hand is the short coffin. And so I just wanted you to get a chance to see how they would fit on somebody who has shorter nail beds because I know some of you guys, that's you. And like I said, if you look, look for shorter nails and you're wanting shorter nails, then if your nail beds are a little bit longer than mine, then they would be even shorter. So again, I just wanted you to have a reference point. Even though short nails aren't really my favorite on my hands, I think that's just because like my hands are so short as it is that I and small, that I just feel like it makes them look a little stumpy. But that's totally a preference. I know some of you can't even wear long nails because of your job or anything else. So I just wanted you again to see how they look on somebody with shorter nail beds. So these here are the short, sharp square and i have to say if i was going to wear short shapes again i love both of these um they kind of surprised me how much i liked them because i was expecting to hate them because i don't normally like short nails on me but the shape of these short sharp square is beautiful and wait till you see it with a polish on i think it actually looks really really nice so again if you have some if you're somebody who has shorter nail beds then i think this will give you a good reference point to see how they might fit on you and they apply just as beautifully as all my other vivid glam tips all right, so I'm just gonna go in with a layer of this gel base coat really quickly. I'm just using my eye gel here. And you'll notice that I put the gel base only on the first two fingers and actually the thumb, but you don't see that part. <laughs> the reason I'm not putting it where I'm gonna put the rubber base is because remember, the rubber base coat is a gel base, so you don't need a gel base for a gel base. So if you have not seen my video on Nails Cat Cat, I do include a lot of information about her rubber base in there and show my application process. So I can link that video for you if you've missed it, but I really have been enjoying her rubber bases. I have a few colors already and she was having a Black Friday sale, so I might have gotten one more, Shh, don't tell me. Anyway, so that is the reason why we don't need to put a layer of gel base with the rubber base. That's because the rubber base is a gel base. It's just a bit thicker and a little bit different formula. So one of the reasons I fell in love with Daily Charms gel polish formula, even though I tried not to because it is expensive, which by the way, if you didn't catch their Black Friday discount, they were 40% off that dropped them down to $11 each, which is still a lot, but it was a little bit easier to swallow than $18 some bottle. But anyway, uh, one of the reasons I fell in love with this formula is because it is a little bit on the thicker side and it is very pigmented. But this one, it was a little bit more difficult to work with. So I'm not I'm not saying it wasn't a good formula or a good polish. It is, but it did sheer out a little bit more as I was applying it than some of the other polishes I've used. This is the first one of theirs and I've used several now that's really done that to me. So I don't know if it's just something with this particular color or this particular formula. 
We still got there in two layers, but I did kind of have to fiddle with it a little bit more just to get it fully opaque in two layers. So you know, by, the, by the time I finished the Manny, it looks beautiful, but it is a little bit thinner and a little bit sheer than some of their other colors. So why that is, I couldn't tell you. But like I said, fortunately, we still got there after the two coats. So I love this particular shade of green because it's definitely a little bit more flattering on my neutral leaning cool skin tone. But if you prefer to have something that's a little bit more of a true green, obviously you could use that instead or like a yellow green, you could use that. Whatever green you want is really fine. You want it to obviously mimic Holly, but what shades haven't of green haven't you seen Holly in? It's definitely one of those plants that, you know, has various shades of green. So use whatever you like. All right, so here we are after the second coat, and I think this color looks absolutely stunning. So we're gonna go ahead and add the matte gel top coat over top. This is Daily Charms Velvet Matte Top Coat. I'm using this one because I already know and enjoy it, and the reason I'm applying it now is because even though we still have the neutral nails to go, I just wanted to kind of go ahead and finish this so I didn't have to worry about any of my nail art kind of you know messing with the solid color, so. If you're looking for a less expensive matte gel option, I would say Vivid Glams is really nice. And so at least from the swatch is West Coast Dips. Now I haven't done a Manny with that one yet, but the swatch looks super velvety and super flat matte. If you don't mind a satin matte and you need a humor free formula, I would say try the C and Designer Dips one. But again, all that's gonna depend on your preference. As far as it goes for me, I like a nice smooth flat matte. I love it matte so beautiful and of course it would look great with a shiny top coat too but I've, I really love me a matte mani in the cooler months. All right, so I'm going in now with the rubber base gel and Peaky Promise and so I have quite a few colors in this and I have to say that I've really been enjoying her rubber base formula. I definitely think it is worth trying. Now again, you may just want to start with one color and see what you think of it but it's so nice that it doubles as like a gel base coat but also as a strengthener you know something to structure your nails with so really been enjoying this especially for french work and abstract designs it's just a nice wash of color and depending on how thick you make your layers whether you paint it on thin or whether you add an additional thickness thick layer over the top then that will depend on how much opacity you get but I have to say I kind of love it about that. It makes it to be such a versatile product. It can be just color but it can also be strength as well. She has some fantastic tutorials on her Instagram page and I'm trying to kind of mimic what she does, but I do not have her level of talent. But basically I'm doing similarly to how I would do a builder gel. I'm kind of walking this on here in a slightly thicker layer. It is much easier to get it to self level than builder gel is, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but I'll just kind of like walk this on down the nail and then use a thinner liner brush to kind of you know straighten out the sides. I have to give her props. She has such a huge variety of neutral rubber bases. So it doesn't matter what your skin color is, whether you're warmer toned, deeper toned, lighter toned, go see pale like me or somebody who has rich, deep, dark skin. I think you're gonna find a nude from her collection that works for you. So she has a lot of swatches and a lot of um, sample photos and obviously her manis where she's applied these for you to get an idea of what the colors look like but i have not been disappointed with a single one of these i highly recommend her rubber base coats all right so we got a couple of layers down so we're going to go in now with the nail art on the neutral nails so i'm laying down a little bit of vampire drunk by a prey and a little bit more of this rainforest color from daily charm and that's what i'm going to use to do the nail art but unfortunately it wasn't the right choice. <laughs> so let me explain to you what happened so that hopefully if you wanna recreate this nail art, you can avoid the issues that I had. So I've kind of been a little bit spoiled with Daily Charm and that's the reason why I don't mind spending the cash on their gel polishes because the formula is a little bit on the thicker side and a little bit more pigmented, which means I can typically do gel nail art as well as just color layers with the formula. It's just that good. Unfortunately, I should have realized when this one went on a little bit thinner and a little bit sheer than some of their other polishes that I was going to have a little bit of trouble with the nail art, and unfortunately I did. 
when you're doing something this small, this delicate, and this detailed, you really need it, the gel you're using to perform. So in this case, you're better off using a gel paint. And like I said, because I'd gotten so jaded with the Daily Charm polishes, I knew this was going to be good enough to be a gel paint. And unfortunately, this particular color was just a little bit more difficult to work with. So because it was a little bit sheer and a little bit thinner, it was hard to keep my lines crisp and it was hard to get enough opacity in the holly leaf in just one coat, which is all I wanted to do. We got there in the end, but it would have been a lot easier if I had used an actual gel paint for this or at least a better gel polish formula than this particular color gave me. Now let me zoom in here a little bit because I want to explain what exactly I'm doing and this is the easiest way that I have found to make a holly leaf. So you're first going to draw yourself a long line and then you're going to draw two hash marks that are kind of perpendicular to that line and I like to make the outer one a little bit longer than the inner one just to kind of make it more of like a graduated leaf shape and then once you do that you're just going to do like an inward arc to connect those tick marks and all that's really going to do is just kind of give you some guidelines to actually apply your holly without it looking uneven or um you know disjointed or just plain weird <laughs> it just really helps somebody if you're like me who needs those guidelines to kind of help get your nail art to be straight and make it look clean i think you'll find that will help you quite a bit obviously having my painted desert brushes helps a lot because they are very thin and precise so it's easier to get a nice point but imagine if i didn't have this help from this brush this would have been much more difficult than it already was due to the sheer formula and the thinner formula of this particular gel polish for those of you that are using dip powder for your mani and you do not want to use gel for the nail art this is definitely one of those designs that you could use plain old acrylic paint for so by that i mean just grab some at the art store the craft store i think i've even seen them at walmart you can use the apple barrel brand that will work just fine for you or again you could use those acrylic markers that i have in my amazon storefront to draw these on as well of course you could use stamps you could use decals there's all kinds of options so don't feel like you can't recreate this mani if you're not using gel All right, so I'm going to be adding the rest of my art with some dotting tools. So I wanted to show you something I recently picked up from Painted Desert. This is their five-piece luxury dotting tool set. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. When I first saw this advertised, I was like, but why? <laughs> <laughs> right because it's a luxury dotting tool set and I'm you know I've been using those cheapy ones off Amazon since as long as I can remember and I'm definitely not saying that's not an option for you if you can't afford these but let me tell you why I'm kind of eating my words with this the sets that I've gotten off Amazon don't have as good of a variety as this set does this has the teeniest tiniest dotting tool to the big fat daddy dotting tool it's such a really good variety in here and it's not like these are like the same size and I feel like a lot of the dotting tool sets that I get off Amazon they have a bunch of duplicates so I definitely feel like I'm getting more of a variety here but also they just feel like they're gonna hold a better to me now I'm adding the little dots on here by the way with the the holly berry with the um, a prey but yeah I just feel like in this case, you're kind of getting what you're paying for. If you're somebody who's going to use dotting tools, then I really do feel like it's worth the expense. And I'm not saying you can't use those ones off Amazon, but I've had to replace those because I've actually had some where the metal piece on the end has actually fallen out. And, you know, I've just had some issues here and there with them that I feel like if I had just bought a good quality set that would have lasted me and would held it better, then I wouldn't have had to buy so many sets. But that's just my perspective guys if you looked at the whole idea of a luxury dotting tool and you're like but why well i thought the same way too and like i said i'm eating my words and that's not to bag on painted desert obviously they knew what they were doing i just <laughs> didn't understand the value of it before i had it and now i do these are going to hold up so well for me and i know i'll get a lot of use out of them all right so i want to talk to you about polka dots because I love them. I could literally put polka dots on every nail set and be super happy. I feel like they are such a classy touch and I really feel like this just adds such a special touch to this mani. So I don't know if you can see there, but when I started down the middle, I ended up doing just one line of dots down the middle. And then what I do from then is I move over to the next row. I try to space it out about the same amount as I have between the dots in the row. And I just kind of put those dots in between where the other two are. I don't know if I'm explaining it very well, but you see how the first row, I've got them down there in a line, and then on the second row, I start the first dot between 
the first and second dot on the first row. You guys see what I'm doing, right? See, I'm just explaining it and I'm just making it more confusing. The point is, if you kind of space it out that way, you'll get nice even dots and they will look very cohesive instead of feeling like you're just kind of slapping them all over the place and it doesn't look as uniform. I did end up using my Daily Charm Perfect White because I felt like it was going to be good enough for this purpose so I didn't have to pull out my Nails Cat Cat white gel paint. But you could use a white gel paint, but this is one of those things that I was talking about where this formula is a little bit more like gel paint, so it works really well for this. Of course, you can stop and flash cure anytime you want, and you can see if you make a mistake with the placement, you can just wipe it off with a little alcohol brush and put it right back on. Just make sure you wait for the alcohol to dry so it doesn't smear when you reapply it. It's so pretty, right? I love it. I absolutely adore how this turned out. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on the velvet matte top coat on these nails as well. Of course, you could use a shiny top coat if you prefer, but I just wanted to really fully commit to the matte, you know what I mean? I think this set would look so cute if you did like a snowflake instead of holly or maybe a Santa hat or a gift box. There are so many possibilities to this, and I love this kind of minimalist look. All right, so here is the Manny All Finish. I think it turned out so cute. And honestly, I love flashy nail art, but if you made me choose, I'd probably almost always choose a minimalist Manny. I love the classy and chic vibe that this one gives. It's holiday, but not like slapping you across the face. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up here with some cuticle oil. I'm gonna be using Scales of a Mermaid Spill the Tea. And I know I've said this in recent videos, but if you like the smell of boiling water when it's poured over a tea bag, that to me, this is what this scent captures. It's absolute perfect. I just love it. It's so cozy. All right, so here's the finished look. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this one. And while you're at it, I would love to hear everything you grabbed during Black Friday sales, mostly because I want to hear if you did as much damage as I did. <laughs> I actually feel like I did okay this year. Don't get me wrong, I bought a lot of stuff, but I kind of talked myself out of some purchases this year, so I'm kind of proud of myself. But then again, I definitely indulged on some others. So I tell you what, let me know in the comments down below what you grabbed and I will leave a pinned comment letting you know some of the things that I picked up during the Black Friday sale because, yeah, no, your girl loves a sale. All right, guys, so that is going to complete this video. So I hope you did enjoy it and find it helpful. If you did, it would help me out so much if you would give me a thumbs up down below. And while you're there, if you're not subscribed already, I hope you will consider subscribing before you go. And don't forget that notification bell. We got new content coming every Tuesday and Friday at 2 p.m. Central. So as always, guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. You know I appreciate it so much. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.